Hello everybody, Minister Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the Common Turn. In the last episode, we continued our work in South and Central America. Uh, we declared war on Cuba and took down Cuba. It actually wasn't quite as hard as I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, so that's good. We also took down Honduras. And uh, that was a little bit complicated because we had to invite... China and then China invited half the map in before we finally got around to Guatemala and then let us actually attack. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, we have got our uh, coup declared in Colombia uh, and we're still trying to actually get our own war declared, uh, which is going to be the 8th of April. So a few more months yet. So. We have some volunteers there to help hold. Uh, we are also justifying a war against El Salvador, which is going to be the 27th of June. So that's going to be a little bit... Uh, I also have a few uh, boosting ideologies in Peru and Haiti. Because uh, Peru is going to be kind of next for doing a coup. Uh, I've got them up to... 33%. That's actually not bad. So, I can, let's cancel the boost popularity. Let's start the coup. Alright. And we'll see how that starts to shake out. Uh, coup is going to take until January of 69. My, my. Okay. Um... We still have a lot of work to do until we get to there. Alright, so let's just go ahead and pause it. Let's get it rolling. Uh, we need to burn through some time here to get to April 8th. And we're kind of hoping that the rebels don't take much more territory because what we're trying to do is justify against... Um, this state here so we don't want the rebels to occupy that state because if they do then it invalidates our war justification so everybody just kind of stays here for the time being and that would be good all right so Uh, can I make an adjustment here? Get rid of those two fronts. And you make sure that everybody's actually assigned to that front. Everybody's assigned to this front. And we actually give them some orders. go. I actually kind of hope that these guys take this back. That would be good. Which it looks like they are. I'm trying to bring some guys back in. Alright, yeah, well, they did take it back, but yeah, I'm surprised at how little organization these guys are. They're taking massive amounts of attrition, that's right. Because supply is pretty bad in this area. So the smaller army of the rebels is actually functioning better than the larger army of uh, Colombia. We're going to go to war with El Salvador. What I might do... Well, this is going to be like July, right? June. So we have a ways to go. Uh, no, 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 not, not those planes. These planes. Can I bring these planes? 
Overall Central America, yes. Oh, Portugal changed its autonomy level. Oh yeah, I think the other thing we did was we actually annexed Manchuco and then we gave it to China, so. That worked. Now... They got 34 divisions. I'm always surprised at how many divisions El Salvador is able to bring up from just being such a small country. I might actually need to bring some more force over here. Uh, but I have guys. Let's see. What we're going to need, actually, is to... Oh, Honduras is beefed up. What about... Um... They, oh, they barely have any naval base. Okay, let's get those building. So I think we're going to want to bring in some more divisions. Let's get them a little bit closer. How are things going here? They're going well. Uh, do I have an air force? I have some jet fighters and some TAC bombers. I'm going to put them over Amazonas. We also have some more fighters and TAC bombers. We'll put them over here as well. Make sure everybody's on mission. Everybody's on mission. Good. Alright, so these guys are ready. We just need to wait for those. Those ports to build up just a little bit. To increase the supply availability. Let's see, when's this going to be? March 18th? March 19th. Yes, I think it'll increase the supply availability. Perhaps not. No, because where the supplies are actually coming from is not through this port they're coming through the port here and then coming through guatemala into honduras and because there's low infrastructure here which i can't affect that's what's slowing things down previous bottleneck infrastructure in algerian desert hold on Wait, 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 wait. Algerian desert. Algerian desert. Really? And there's nothing I can do about that. Because Germany isn't one of my puppets anymore. I guess I could take that territory from them using the console commands, but... Uh, not so sure about... Let's just see what happens if I move... I move this army in here. Guys, let's see, give you a battle plan. 
Kasse. Give you a battle plan. Justification is complete. So we can declare war. And we're going to need to invite Venezuela. There we go, invite to faction. Alright, both of you guys launch your attacks. And that is going to be over very quickly. No, not bringing anybody else into this war. Looks like that there's fine. It's probably a little bit stressed. Yeah, it is. But it's close enough that it isn't causing any attrition. Thing Lee, it's causing attrition to the Honduran units. Probably because I have logistics companies and they don't. Oh, yep. Okay, the volunteer forces are back. So that's fine. Oh, these 24 divisions got cut off. Very nice. Everybody, crush them. Crush them. Peace conference is complete. Very good. All right, now we have limits as far as supply. This is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to take this army. Need any orders they might have? Put them on this front. And this army is going to redeploy. I guess along the Brazilian border with Peru. I think that might work. Whose puppet is Brazil? China's puppet. Ah. That actually won't work then, because we'll have to do the whole thing where we invite China. So. Oh, well, we'll move them over there for the time being. Yeah, plenty of re, uh, infrastructure, so that's fine. Alright, it's coming along. It's coming along. Oh, let me just see something. Are there multiple supply zones? No, there's not. Um... When was this going to be? January of 69. We're boosting ideology in Bolivia, which we don't need to be doing anymore. Cancel that. I want to see how it looks. Let's actually start boosting here again, because they're getting pressure. It's reducing the support, so we need to keep that up. Tomorrow National Bolivia. Uh, now Chile is a Chinese puppet as well. 
Ecuador. Hmm. We might do a naval invasion of Ecuador. How long will it take to justify a war goal? 260 days? January 69. February 69. I should cancel that. Here's the thing, I don't know where the coup's gonna be. Let's go with this. So, war justification is gonna finish on the 21st of February. The Coup is going to finish on, finish on the 18th of January. It gives us a little over a month to hold out. That will work. We're at 37%. Okay, so it's reducing as well. We got that back up to 31%. Almost done the justification against El Salvador. Royce. Now Paraguay is a communist state. Let's improve our relations. Justification of conquering El Salvador. Let's guarantee their independence as well. Fight the faction. Alright, let's go ahead and declare this war. Alright, then we're going to need to call to arms Honduras. And then these two guys launch your attack. I think that my heavy tanks are more than a match. For El Salvador, even though it they're pretty well fortified. Wow, their entire army just got eliminated. Alright, there we go. Done. Puppet. Alright. Perfect. Now, justify war goal against Nicaragua. It's going to take 245 days. No problem. And we're going to do the same thing. Set you guys up on the front. I'll do the same with you. That's a weird battle plan. Whatever, it's fine. We'll do that. All right, so now we're just waiting for Peru. January. So half a year. And when is this gonna be? March next year.
Uh, Non-aggression pact, sure. I'm trying to give them good strategic reasons. Uh, stop improving relations. We don't need to anymore. <sighs> we don't happen to have like national focuses. No. Nothing that would make some things over here simpler. Alright, so we're going to need to move some planes. Alright, and... Actually... Stay right where there are. Now, if we try to justify a war goal here, it's going to take 490 days. No, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah, we just have Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama up here. And then once Peru is taken care of, we'll have Ecuador, Bolivia, Argentina, Uruguay, and hopefully Paraguay will come over on their own. Um, we can start boosting party popularity here in Argentina. What's Bolivia look like? 37%? Okay. Point 0.5. Point 0.5 to do a coup. October 69. Yeah, that should be fine. I might change my mind here with Haiti. We'll just attack the Dominican Republic and then go into Haiti overland. Got troops. Yeah, I think that'll work. Launch naval invasions into Santo Domingo and coming from the north. Should be able to take half the island almost instantly. Uh, crush their army here in the mountains. And then roll over the border into Haiti. So what I think I might actually just do here is pause the recording while we wait and uh, come back when it is uh, the end of January when we're ready to go. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, here we are. It is January 15th and three more days. That coup should fire and then we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the coup won't happen in the state they were trying to justify against, but it almost certainly will. Oh, no, good it didn't, but it's close. 
this is the state that we justified against. Okay. So, we need to set this up. How much can we send in the way of volunteers? We can send one division. Perfect. We have that one division still available. Send it. And we need to do the whole lend lease thing where we send them. Uh, 75% of our production of guns. Uh, did that not set up? And we want to add the artillery pieces. Target of foreign war goals. Peru has war goals. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, so they have five infantry divisions and two mechanized infantry. Uh, I thought. Did this not work? Seventy five per cent. Seventy five per cent. How long till my guys get there? February first. They're losing ground. All right, my volunteers have arrived. I need to take Lima. Can I drive this back? All this mountainous terrain is not good for my tanks. Uh, let's do this. Counter attack. Need to hold out till February. What's it? Twenty uh, first. Once we get our own war declared and we get these guys in a faction, then it's no longer a problem. And that won't have affected anything, right? No. Can we make this work? Maybe. Mm. Justification's finished. Declare war. Conquer. They take over, invite the faction. All right, they're in the faction. We need to call them to arms. And these guys need a war goal, or not a war goal, a battle plan. And, uh,. Engage. Uh, 
And hopefully they don't start calling half faction into war. Ooh. Sunk a bunch of Peruvian ships. Very good. Actually, let's do this. My bombardment fleet can swing down here. I'll provide shore bombardment for our new allies. And we should have air support, right? Enemy air superiority, yes. Does Peru actually have an air force contesting us? They do. Sunk some more destroyers. Um, Northern South America. They have a bunch of planes, but that doesn't matter. Yep. The shore bombardment going. Well, I don't know why all of a sudden the game is chugging. Alright, so when was this again? March 10th. Alright, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to end the episode here because we're at time. And then when we come back, we should get the war with Peru finished. What I'm probably going to do is once this front advances down here a little bit, then I'm going to throw this army in and uh, see how it goes. And then we're going to be getting going to war with Nicaragua here shortly as well. Hopefully that won't take too long. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.